Hey, it's Paul, and here on The Friendly Viewer, we keep you up to date with the latest on the Netgear Orbi, so make sure to subscribe. In this video, we're going to take a look at firmware version 2.1.1.12, and just like the last firmware release, which had a major feature update, this release also brings one that people have been asking for since the Orbi launched. So let's get into it. The update comes with a few bug fixes. The first fix is for the WPA2 key reinstallation attack vulnerability called Crack. That is Crack with a K. It also fixes an issue around enabling remote access using the Genie app after a factory reset. Now for some of the more fun items. The first of the new features is the Orbi now supports Circle with Disney parental controls. If you're not familiar with Circle with Disney, it is a device that you can buy for around $100 that lets you filter all your internet content and place controls on devices and their internet usage. It connects wirelessly through your Wi-Fi system, or you can also use an ethernet cable if you believe it's going to slow you down. Now the circle with Disney is inside your Netgear Orbi. Just a side note, this is a picture of inside the Disney World castle, in case you were curious. I hope this means that there won't be any speed issues since it's not a separate piece of hardware. Previously, you could use the Netgear Genie app to set up your parental controls, and now you can choose either one, but not both. There are some differences between the standalone circle and the one that's going to be inside and integrated with your Orbi router. The standalone system is purchased once, and there's no monthly fee unless you want to enable Circle Go, which allows you to continue applying those parental controls while mobile. The Orbi built-in version has a basic and premium options. The basic is free, and the premium requires a monthly fee. The premium comes with quite a few more features, and if you have premium, you can also enable Circle Go, just like the standalone system. I'll make sure to post a more detailed tutorial and review in another video. The second new feature is the big one. This is one that's been the most requested since the Orbi was first released. If you recall, the last release that Netgear added was the ability to daisy chain the Orbeez, creating a true mesh system, really leveraging that third band for high speed connections. Now, the Orbi also supports a wired Ethernet backhaul. This means if you don't have a wired house, you can leverage that third band to get everything set up wirelessly. But if you do have a wired house, you can leverage direct connections with all your satellites. The other area where this could be useful is if you had a location that's just too far away from your house to daisy chain Orbeez to get proper coverage. This could be the case if you had a shed or garage that was really far away, but you could run an Ethernet line to it. There were also a few other related features, such as the ability to see the status and quality of your backhaul and the ability to rename your satellites. Now you can name them Bob, Jim, and Steve if you want. So Netgear's now released back-to-back -back updates with major features that people have been asking for since the launch of the product, and I'm pretty happy with that. I'm really hoping that these are stable releases as well, and there's not any issues. People have commented over the past month about some stability issues with the previous release, and I'm hoping those are fixed. If you don't know how to update your firmware, I'll put a link in the description down below and also a little card up here. So take a look at those, and it's pretty easy. You just follow right along. This has been Paul with your update with version 2.1.1.12. Thank you for watching.